Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the concept of high availability. So this is your ability for your service to remain available by ensuring there is no single point of failure or ensure a certain level of performance. So here I have a technical architectural diagram that is describing high availability. So the idea behind this is that if you have a server which runs your web application, if you were to run redundant versions of your server, if anything happened to a single server, traffic could always be routed to those other servers. And that way, your service would remain available. Now, having multiple servers is great, but even what's better is having multiple servers in multiple data centers because something could happen to a data center. It could become unavailable because of a networking issue. So by being able to route traffic or uh, that way, you're going to remain highly available. And, and uh, running a workload across multiple availability zones and availability zones is what Azure calls their data centers, ensures that if one or two data center becomes unavailable, your service will remain available. Very, very common to run uh, uh, at least three servers across three data centers. Now, how would you distribute the traffic or manage the traffic to all three? And that's where an Azure load balancer comes into play. That green triangle with the arrows, that is the representation of a load balancer. So a load balancer allows you to evenly distribute traffic to multiple servers in one or more data center. And if a data center or server becomes unavailable, so unhealthy, the load balancer will route the traffic to only available data centers with servers. So there you go. That is high availability.